Greetings fellow YouTubers. Today I want to show you how I um, go from this 308 cartridge that has just been neck sized only and uh, trimmed to minimal length to this case which has been freshly neck turned to give more uniformity and to increase hopefully increase accuracy. I haven't tested this out yet. I just worked up a new load for my 308 match rifle and um, I hope I will shoot uh, several strings today testing loads Make, do some load development. I won't film any of that because our range is fairly strict about filming um, But anyway, I will shoot some loads some 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 groups and the, the most accurate group I will redo and Redo them with neck turned brass, so I will test directly neck turned brass against standard brass and I will can already guarantee you that accuracy will be enhanced because I have found out that even though I'm using RWS uh, brass which is about this uh, even better quality than Lapua um, I still had some variations in uh, wall thickness so basically my setup is very simple I just whipped it out uh, in about an hour I uh, had an old case holder, a, sh a shell holder and I annealed it so I could drill a, a 7.5 millimeter hole into it and then I press fit it onto some drill rod uh, so I had a very concentric uh, fit. Uh, then I turned down uh, some uh, drill rod to I think it was 7.8 to 0 millimeters uh, and then I turned a step with I think eight and a half millimeters. So basically you tighten your tailstock down until the case touches the step in the in the drill rod. And I already set up uh, I had I have a, a dead stop in the lathe so I could just need to go back until it stops that's right here I turn on my lathe it's it's at uh, 115 revolutions per minute um, and I have very very slow feeding so basically now it will be a little bit louder and I will just go in And just kiss the, the shoulder, that's why this chip is so huge. And then I will turn down uh, 8 hundredth of a millimeter. That sounds quite much, uh, but in reality, I even, even then, I have some cases that barely skim off the, the scale. So as you can see now, I'm, I'm really creating not much of a chip. It's, it's very tiny and uh, yeah this case actually seems to be very even because you don't see any irregular chip formation but uh, yeah some cases I had were actually very uh, inconsistent and had a very thick case neck and um, Actually, the reason why I started this, and now you just need to reverse your tailstock, and now you have a perfectly uniformly case, neck turned case, which is actually ready for again re, re, -si re neck sizing on my uh, Lee Call It neck sizing die, and um, yeah, then it will be ready for loading. Actually, the reason why I went and did this process because I uh, I neck sized f uh, my cases and I really found out that while seeding the bullets I had very very irregular uh, uh, force required to seed the bullet 
and you could already feel it in the handle. I mean, they went in very smoothly because they're bow tails, but um, I could really feel the difference. And I actually, I sorted out those bullets that uh, went in tightly and those that went in easily. And I, um, yeah, and I separated those to shoot in uh, uh, separate groups so that I would get more accuracy. But I don't want that. I, I want to have a uniform uh, case neck tension and just want to, yeah, get more accuracy out of my gun because if I waste a bullet and waste powder and a primer and I have an uh, inconsistent round and an inaccurate round, then uh, what the hell, I mean, for the same money and a little bit more effort I can uh, reach much more accurate uh, results. So yeah, that's my setup, basically drill rod, an old shell holder that I pressed into the drill rod and just uh, some silver steel um, that um, has been turned down to the to a bullet uh, outside diameter, a step, and that's basically it. And, and a little taper so it uh, feeds in smoothly. And that's basically it. I uh, didn't center this in the chuck because I turned it directly on the chuck and didn't chuck, uh, remove it from the chuck or changed anything. So that's the most uh, consistent I can get. I can also chuck it up in the four jaw chuck and uh, get the best run out I can get, but basically it's the most accurate ride after machining. And I won't put this out until I uh, shot my uh, rounds today and sh uh, shoot my uh, next sizing, next sized rounds. And if I see that it's getting better, which I hope, then I will all do all my 400 cases. Uh, I have a, a, a batch of all 400 matching RWS uh, cases, and then I will do all my uh, cases which I know that it will decrease uh, case life because of the material that has been removed, but um, I can live with that. Thanks for watching.